Welcome back. Come with me. Oh shit. Ideally, you are angry. Angry. Angry at Soldier. And so, you got Crimp players, Ferris, and the Wire Stripper. Call your hair chewing or your time on cables. If not, screw it. Not really needed. What you need is a small wire cutter, pliers, screwdriver, then the heart, which is a $19 step up module, M3 balls, 3D printed parts, old CD or tape case, some wire, XT60 connectors, cable locks, little burner or soldering iron, acrylic super glue, tape, and some double-sided tape. Now you can screw it together like your last exam. Come on! Look, look, look! I forgot that Parkside batteries doesn't have low voltage cutoff, but no problemo, we got the $5 solution. I choose 12.6 or 12.5 volt as cutoff voltage because until you take off the Parkside battery it will still consume about 20 milliamps. Let me know in the comments if you want a version 2 where you can see and reach the model. Nice, finally finished. If I could spin it with my mind. She had, but after a little practice. Okay, what you got this time? As first, we take a look at our charger. And here we see 54.6 volt and 2 amps. Then we go to our self belt charger and take a look there. Here we see 54.6 volt and let's pretend we want less, like 54 volt. 
we go to set two times and then go down with the setting to let's say 54. Then we wait until it sets. Now we took the right charging adapter and go to our scooter. Now we connect them both and go to on. What is this? Nothing. <laughs> now you can charge everything? Everything with more than 9 cells. So perfect for 36 or 48 volt scooter or skateboard or pedelec. 9 cells is serious? Who needs this prison charger? Maybe you?